Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most markets have actually managed to spike up a little bit higher as the market has now uh, made the decision that um, the Fed statement due uh, tomorrow uh, is going to be uh, a little bit more dovish than uh, than what was initially expected because of some of the economic data being coming out of the US. It's not quite as, uh, as pro early interest rate hike as, as some traders would like. So uh, people begin to bet now that they're probably going to remove the word patience, but then still marry it up to the macroeconomic data improving. And that's why we've seen such a big turnaround on, um, on the against the US dollar and uh, seen most equity markets spike up a little bit higher, including the US 30. So we're trading above 17,895. Um, we, we actually hit 18,000 last night. We might have another retest that later on today. So moving on to UK 100. Um, you can see that we actually broke through 6771 uh, yesterday, stayed above there, and we're moving on a little higher just now. That also coincides with the 55 period SMA that might eventually um, kind of add support to 6771. Um, the MACD was going to cross the zero line, that stopped right now, so it might end up uh, pushing back up that little bit higher. The other technicals are still neutral, um, with the RSI just slowly ticking up, crossing that 50% level. Um, so if we do begin to see that little bit more uh, upside momentum right there, 6771 could be the support. You might hit a little bit of potential resistance at the 21 period SMA, followed by 6906. Moving on to Japan 225, uh, it's soldiering on that little bit higher as well. Uh, dollar yen quite volatile, still kicking around 121. Uh, we're almost halfway towards our next potential resistance at uh, 20,868. Uh, decent day yesterday, another strong day again today, currently trading at the top end of its range. Moving on to dollar yen very quickly, uh, 121.87 is the resistance to beat. It's not done it yet, it's flattening out quite close to there. Could be a consolidation move before we get a break one direction or the other. Technicals are also flattening out with the RSI and Stochastic both overbought, uh, but no signal yet to sell. Um, but we'll soon see with the, with the US dollar, we've got a decent bit of uh, macro data to come out. I think over in Japan as well, the um, Bank of Japan governor is um, due to speak very soon if he's not spoken already. Talk, talk about more about the, uh, the Japanese stimulus uh, and the fact that they don't have to go too, too heavy handed to begin with. And uh, that's probably uh, holding dollar yen back a little bit. Uh, moving on to crude oil West Texas to finish things up, we actually hit a six year low yesterday, uh, still moving lower again uh, this morning, 43 spot 29 is a potential support level followed by $35.30 from a technical analysis perspective on higher inventory data as ever. Uh, gold probably quite volatile even though the dollar has rallied against um, the sterling and the euro. Uh, we're not seeing that uh, interest rate aspect filter onto gold, which is uh, actually just moved, uh, had a negative day yesterday and is still um, slowly moving lower towards 11.37, which is the next potential support level as well. So let's finish up with, G uh, with uh, your dollar. Your dollar positive day yesterday, positive again today. Still in the middle of two ranges. There's really not much to talk about in that regard. There isn't any specific momentum in any one direction or the other. We have seen a little bit of a reversal of the US dollar. And then if you look at GBP USD, um, uh, kind of a reversal, trading back above one spot 48.13. We haven't followed through so far this morning. This looks to be quite the strong pivot level. Almost got a cross on the RSI, and we are certainly crossing over in the st uh, slow stochastic, but we've not yet crossed back through that 20% level, which would be the reversal signal that many traders are looking for. We do have a death cross appearing on the moving averages, however, that will be adding slightly more pressure. So all depends what the FOMC comes out with on Wednesday. So economic data-wise, you've got Eurozone CPI due today. Um, the ZEW business report, so these are things that will be big for, for, for your dollar, but you're probably not going to get a huge amount of movement until after the FOMC, to be honest. And if we fast forward onto Wednesday, you've got the Bank of England minutes, unemployment claim data, um, weekly petroleum sales, and then you have that FOMC meeting where people will be uh, looking over that statement with uh, with a lot of interest. So as ever, keep your eyes on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.